Hi guys, so I am continuing right on. King Solomon, the mighty King Solomon, the wise King Solomon. Mm. He is performing the judgments of the Lord and he is doing a good job. Oh yeah, oh yeah. First Kings chapter 4. Come on, let's continue on this journey as we read the word of God and feed our spirits. It is important for the growth and development of our spirits. So King Solomon was king over all Israel. And these were the princes which he had, Azariah the son of Zadok the priest, Elihoreph and Ahiah the sons of Shisha, scribes, Jehoshaphat the son of Ahilud the recorder, and Benaiah the son of Jehodiah was over the host, and Zadok and Abitar were the priests, and Azariah the son of Nathan was over the officers, and Zabud, the son of Nathan, was principal officer and the king's friend. Hmm. And Abishar was over the household, and Adoniram, the son of Abda, was over the tribute. And Solomon had twelve officers over all Israel, which provided victuals for the king and his household. Each man his month in a in a year made provision. Mm, mm, mm. And these are their names: the son of Har in Mount Ephraim, the son of Dekar in Makaz, and in Shealbim, and Beth Shemesh, and Elon Beth Hanan, the son of Hesed in Aruboth, to him pertained Soko and all the land of Hephor, the son of Abinadab in all the region of Dor, which had Taphath, the daughter of Solomon, to wife. Beana, the son of Alhilud, to him pertained Tenach and Megiddo and all Bethshean, which is by Zartana, beneath Jezreel, from Bethshean to Abel Mehola, even unto the place that is beyond Jokneam, the son of Gibor in Ramoth Gilead, to him pertain the towns of Jer, the son of Manasseh, which are in Gilead. To him also pertain the regions of Argob, which is in Bashan, three score great cities and with walls and brazen bars. Ahinadab, the son of Idu had Mahenem. Ahimeaz was in Naphtali. He also took Basmat, the daughter of Solomon, to wife. Beana, the son of Hushai, was in Asher and in Aleph. Jehoshaphat, the son of Parua, in Isaacchar. Shimei, the son of Elah, in Benjamin. Gibor, the son of Uri, was in the country of Gilead. In the country of Sion, king of the Amorites, and of Og, king of Bashan, and he was the only officer which was in the land. Hmm. Judah and Israel were many, as the sand which is by the sea in multitude, eating and drinking and making merry. And Solomon reigned over all kingdoms from the river unto the land of the Philistines and unto the border of Egypt. They brought presents and served Solomon all the days of his life. Mm. And Solomon's provision for one day was 30 measures of fine flour and three score measures of meal, 10 fat oxen and 20 oxen out of the pastures and an hundred sheep besides heart and robux and fallow deer and fatted fowl. For he had dominion over all the region on this side, the river from Tifsa even to Aza, over all the kings on this side, the river. And he had peace on all sides round about him. And Judah and Israel dwelt safely Every man under his vine and under his fig tree, 
from Dan even to Beersheba, all the days of Solomon. And Solomon had 40,000 stalls of horses for his chariots and 12,000 horsemen. And those officers provided victuals for King Solomon and for all that came unto King Solomon's table, every man in his month, they lacked nothing. Mm. Barley also and straw for the horses and dromedaries brought they unto the place where the officers were, every man according to his charge. And God gave Solomon wisdom and understanding exceeding much and largeness of heart, even as the sand that is on the seashore. Mm. And Solomon's wisdom excelled the wisdom of all the children of the East Country and all the wisdom of Egypt. For he was wiser than all men, than Ethan, the Ezraite, and Heman, and Chalcol, and Darda, the sons of Mahal. And his fame was in all nations round about. And he spake three thousand proverbs. And his songs were a thousand and five. And he spake of trees from the cedar tree that is in Lebanon, even unto the hyssop that springeth out of the wall. He spake also of beasts and of fowl and of creeping things and of fishes. And there came of all people to hear the wisdom of Solomon from all kings of the earth, which had heard of his wisdom. Mm, mm, mm. Thus ends the reading of 1 Kings chapter 4. Beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful. Mm, beautiful. Mm, beautiful. Ooh. God has fulfilled his word in the life of Solomon. He has not held anything back. He's fulfilling his word in the life of Solomon. Thank you for reading the word of God with me. We know what we have to do. So I am going to move on and I will go straight to 1 Kings chapter 5. Stay blessed, everybody.